Here we're going to find a polynomial uh, given zeros and the leading coefficient. So they tell us the degree of the polynomial is 3. And they gave us 1, 2. They only gave us two roots. However, there is different multiplicities. So multiplicity 2 at x equals 5 and multiplicity 1 at x equals negative 3. So let's just write down what our polyno polynomial is going to look like. It could be a leading coefficient. Now this is degree 3. And what's happening here, there is a multiplicity 2 at x equals 5. So x equals 5, that course, remember, the correspondence x equals 5 corresponds to x minus 5 as a factor. So that's what I'm doing here. x equals 5 corresponds to x minus 5. Multiplicity is 2, so we're multiplying it twice. Last one, multiplicity 1, so it appears once x equals negative 3. This is x minus the 0, so it's x minus negative 3. We have x minus 5 times x minus 5, so you can write it as squared. I'm just going to write x plus 3 instead of x minus negative 3. So we do have degree 3. The y-intercept is negative 15. We're about to use that. So what does that mean? That means when you take x equals 0 and plug into the function, you get negative 15. So we have negative 15 equals, now on the right side, I'm going to replace x by 0. 0 minus 5 is negative 5. 0 plus 3 is just 3. So we have 5 squared is 25 times 3 is 75. And this is positive right here because we're squaring the negative. And we're almost done. Just divide both sides by 75. Okay, so it's negative 15 over 75 is a, and let's just make sure we're answering this correctly, p of x. So they're calling the function p of x, that's fine. We had, I'm copying off this right here, I'm just plugging in the a value. Negative 15 70 fifths times x minus five squared times x plus three. And here we go. That negative 0 0.02 should be that number right there. And fraction or decimal uh, should work either way.